It is my honor to introduce Senator Al Franken. Congratulations for all of you being uh, in the YMCA Youth and Government Program. Thank you for inviting me, Mr. Speaker. In 1957, the Soviets launched Sputnik. You all know what Sputnik is? First man-made satellite. Soviets sent it up in 1957. This scared the heck out of America. So my parents marched my brother and me into our living room in St. Louis Park and said to us, you boys are going to study math and science so we can beat the Soviets. <laughs> I thought that was a lot of pressure to put on a six-year-old. <laughs> A couple of issues that I'm working on are college affordability. Tuition has gone up so much in college for a number of reasons. One of which is that states don't, they actually have been cutting aid to, to higher education. We have done, we've done that in Minnesota. The tuition is really the difference between the cost of a college education and what up with states put into it, and the difference is how much the student pays. And the burden has been falling more and more on you, on, on my kids, and on their parents. And that's something that needs attention, that needs to be worked on in a lot of ways. One of which is allowing kids to take college courses in, in, in high school so that you can go to college maybe with a year of credits behind you, and so that a two-year education, two-year associate's degree is all, requires only one year. What's my stance on gun control? If you treat this early, if people with mental health issues are treated early, they are no more violent than the rest of the population. But if you don't, they'll become more violent. I think the clips with 30 rounds are absolutely, uh, I, I think that there's a very, very good case for banning them. For this. Now, people ask me, how do you become a senator? I say, do comedy for 40 years. <laughs> so, I wish I could stay longer. This is really kind of the thing I like to do the best, is talk to kids, talk to your kids. So I'll have a great rest of this uh, conference. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker. Thank you all.